round of heavy rain moved through today. So just in the past 24 hours includes part of the rain from yesterday and then all of today's Lexington coming in just a little over two inches. Harrodsburg picked up three inches. The farther southwest you traveled, LaRue County was the winner. They picked up uh, about three and a half inches of rain, I believe, in the past 24 hours. But then you factor in the entire amount of rain, of course, for us in the past 24 hours. They got nearly five and a half inches of rain. This is radar indicated, but the Kentucky Mesonet site said about five and some change inches for LaRue County. So again, a lot of heavy rain falling just where we said it would along I-64 and then following the Bluegrass Parkway dipping down into southwestern Kentucky. That's where that cold front stalled out yesterday and then we started to see those showers moving through today. Finally, southern Kentucky got in a little bit of action and now that rain is pushing over into southern and eastern Kentucky as we speak. Still a flood watch in place for the far northern counties of Kentucky and into Ohio. We have a flood warning that's in place for Bourbon County, a Stoner Creek at Paris, and that's going to last for the next several days. Just wanted to pass that along to you. That creek is probably running very quickly, very high and very swiftly. The good news is our risk for severe weather has greatly diminished. It has pushed over to the east, uh, including the Carolinas, a portion of West Virginia and Virginia. Meanwhile, we just have a little sliver of marginal risk in far southeastern Kentucky, and so we're pretty much out of the woods. Still can expect maybe a strong wind gust now and again as the rest of those showers leave the state. There may be one small line left behind, kind of a straggler shower uh, between about maybe 2 and 4 p.m., so that may affect your evening commute. Otherwise, the winds will begin to calm down. We're going to hold on to a lot of clouds, probably not much clearing until late evening, and the temperatures will be dropping. That's the biggest story now that the main part of the severe event is gone. High pressure slides in, allowing for us to see some sunshine at least to start the day tomorrow before more clouds and another chance of showers kind of mainly clips us and kind of moves to the south and southeast, but still a chance for us to pick up a few showers on Wednesday. Will dry out for a couple of days and then a pretty large system. This one looks a little bit more interesting because we're going to have uh, moisture from the south. We're also going to have cold air from the north. We could squeeze out a few snow showers toward Friday and the weekend from that system. Spot the cold front. Can you see it? 70s on the east coast, 60s over Kentucky. 30s and 40s just past Kentucky. So again, that cold air is on its way, not only for tonight, but we have a huge mass of Arctic air rolling in from Canada, dipping down through even uh, most of the U.S. through the Midwest and eventually heading our direction. Temperatures will be about 30 degrees colder than normal. Of course, we're going to feel some of that tonight. This is from the effects, of course, of the cold front. Lots of clouds, a couple of showers around. Temperature is in the mid 30s by 11 p.m. Waking up tomorrow morning, lows should be down around 32 degrees. Lots of clouds around. We'll see some sunshine on Tuesday. Highs back up to the upper 40s, but that's still below normal. We'll get closer to normal Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday before another big cold front. Highs in the low 30s on Saturday.